When it comes to digital boroscopes or digital boroscope cameras, it really seems in the last couple years we've had some major improvements. And the boroscope we're going to talk about today is no exception. The product we're going to be looking at today is the Teslong NTG450H, but the model number is not what's important, it's what this is actually capable of. This particular model is a rigid boroscope as you can see on the box, though Teslong makes lots of different products. The other box that you see on the table is actually my first Teslong boroscope. I've been using that for the better part of a year, and I've really found many good uses for it. The good folks at Tesla Long reached out to me and said, hey, we've got this new model out. Would you like to try it out? And since I was pretty happy with the model that I had, I thought I would try out the new one. And I have to say, I'm impressed. This isn't going to be a comparison video, but my first boroscope was a flux cable. This is obviously rigid. Both these models actually come with their own display, so you don't have to have any other equipment out of the box. You're going to be able to see the image out of the camera as a standalone system. A couple things that offer out of the gate. It does come in a pretty nice box. It has a little bit of a magnetic hold. The box is certainly nice enough to store it after you've owned it, assuming you want to give up the space on the shelf, but it's not too obtrusive and it's a pretty nice case. In the box is going to be the head unit, the rigid boroscope itself in its protective case. The boroscope is 26 inches in length and the diameter is 0.2 inches. So you should be able to even use this model on a 22 caliber if you desire. On the end, it's going to actually have a camera pointing out and there's threads on the end, which you're going to be relying on a mirror screw attachment to be able to see your 90 degree angle. Speaking of the right angle adapter, there's actually four available. The diameter of the smallest, they advertise to be 0.2 and I'm measuring it at 0.195. And the diameter of the large one is 0.471 inches. So you're going to be able to choose whatever the right adapter is for your application. The other things that are included in the bag is a USB cable, a couple additional of the small mirror assemblies, as well as a small angle adapter that screws in the back of the head unit to keep it tilted so you can see it better. Basically a standalone unit that's going to be able to work right out of the box to be able to look at whatever you would like to see in your bore. Now, in an effort to be as efficient as possible, I think what we'd all like to see is exactly how this thing works. I'm going to run some videos on your screen so you can see this boroscope running down the bore of my 6.5 Creedmoor, as well as a 308 Winchester. And the barrels in different states of cleanliness, I'm going to show it before it gets cleaned, just running a basic cleaner through it, not to decopper it. And then another example of actually run all of our cleaning process through it. And we'll go over some of the specs of this as we go. Depending on the settings that I need, you can just use it as a standalone system and look at the video, which honestly is a huge step up from my last model. This four and a half inch IPS display is honestly way better than I ever thought it could be and blows the older model out of the water as far as video quality is concerned. The head unit has an included 32 gig memory card. You can actually take pictures along the way if there's something you want to take a picture of. Or if you'd like to have an entire video, you can do that too. And one of the bigger upgrades that I've not heard anybody talk about and I didn't see any of the documentation is this head unit actually has a microphone, which might seem completely silly, but in my opinion is one of the best features that this allows. Why? Because if you take multiple pictures, you can audibly say exactly what the file is. And so when you're playing that, you're going to play back an MOV file. And even though it's not high grade quality audio, you're going to be able to hear whatever the verbal notes that you said are on it. If you end up taking multiple videos, even though it does have that date timestamp in the corner, you're going to be able to add those audio notes to it to know exactly what it is that you're looking at and why you took the note. The resolution it says for the photos is 1920 by 1080. I've pretty much only used mine for video, which is what I'm running on your screen now. The resolution of the video is 1280 by 720, and it's recording at 30 frames per second. And again, audio is included, and the file that it generates is an MOV file. The one minute videos were somewhere in the ballpark of about 55 megabytes. Not extremely huge, and easily recordable on that 32 gig card that comes with it. That size of card is going to allow you to record tons of video, tons of pictures, to look at those videos, I'm guessing you can probably plug into your computer. Personally, I've just been removing the memory card and putting it in my memory card reader, and that's always worked well for me. But you don't even need a computer. If you just want to be able to use this as a boroscope with a video screen on it, you can do that standalone. The battery life on the air advertises somewhere around four hours. I haven't ran it for four hours, but it wouldn't surprise me because the battery in my other unit lasts so long. I've literally used it for hours without charging it and had no issues. Overall, for the price of these, I've been really impressed. The first unit that I purchased was a little over $100. I've used it for several different applications and been very happy with its performance. It's allowed me to accomplish things that I know that I wouldn't have been able to accomplish without it. This rigid bore scope is certainly a little bit more niche, but if you want to be able to look down your bore, this is really a great tool. If you just want to see how effective your cleaning job is, if you want to be able to look at your throat, 
if you want to be able to see the condition of your bore, this is going to allow you to do that and not have to wonder. And having those nine degree adapters, it should work with just about any application. The unit is again only 26 inches, so if you have a really long barrel, or depending on your application, you might have to look at from both ends. But overall, 26 inches is a pretty reasonable length. That small 0.2 inch diameter is going to get you into most applications, and it really works well. On the bottom, it's got that Type-C charging port. The head unit actually has adjustable lights on the end of it, so it's got three different light levels as well as off. It allows you to change the mode from video to picture. I'm really not sure how clear it can come through on camera, but hopefully you guys can get a good idea of exactly how good that screen can look and how clear it can actually be. That's the lettering from one of my seating stems for one of my Wilson dies. So honestly, it, the screen looks really good. It's pretty sharp if it's in focus. The threads and the adjustable ring allow you to adjust your focus for the distance for whatever adapter you put on there to keep your image in focus. And so far, it's worked pretty well for the applications I've looked at. I'm sure the prices fluctuate on these slightly, but overall for the quality of the image display, the actual quality of the camera and what you can actually see with it, I'm not sure for the cost you can complain about it. It seems the going rate, at least the recording of this video, is somewhere around $130 on Amazon. I think that's about $10 more expensive than I paid for my other one. And I know the image quality is greatly improved over my other camera. Depending on your situation, there might be a different camera you're looking at. I'm going to include a link in the description box below to where you can find all of Teslong's different products and a direct link to this product as well if you're interested in it. If you have any questions, make sure you ask those in the comments section below. If you don't have any questions, I'd encourage you to check out my video on the Tubbs Final Finish product where I actually used my old boroscope to show the condition of the barrel between rounds of the Tub Final Finish system to see what it was actually doing to the bore as we went through the process. I thought it was a pretty interesting video and certainly an interesting application for one of these boroscopes. I hope you enjoyed today's video and until next week, stay safe in small groups.